What's up people, Tassaran here and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind. We're playing as our Warden. We're now level 4 and I remembered uh, from all those years ago I've actually got a pet, a panther and I thought as a Warden why not, why not have a pet come with us. Uh, I've also got a crossbreed of a horse and cow. Yay! So we've actually got a mount, so that's going to make our exploration a hell of a lot better. Completely forgot I had this. Um, but it's so cool that once you've unlocked it, you can use it on any character. Now, I was hoping to start exploring today. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, because of inventory space, it's... Uh, that's shit. I think it will be wiser to head on to Vivek, carry on with the quest lines. Let's try that, see what that does. Fuck all. What was I saying? What was I saying? Let's kill a cliff strider while I try and remember what it was I was saying. No, completely, completely lost me. Yeah, because of our inventory space, uh, I'd much rather try and find somewhere where we can, god damn it, deconstruct all that rubbish that I've got on me. So we can make some space. Fantastic, right, that's that done. So yeah, we're heading to Vivek, because why the shit not? So carry on for questing for a bit and then uh we'll start. Cool, that is really, really painful. Uh, hey, received a soul gem because I used my soul thing. I'm not planning on keeping it on the bar the whole time, but I thought why not. It's another attack. It does damage. Fills up some soul gems which we can use to uh, revive or uh, recharge weapons. blah -de blah Uh, Jenny Joy is fine. I do like to look under bridges just for some random stuff, you never know. Okay, so this is it. We've got some other quests to pick up here. So I'm going to pick them all up. Because if there's any I can do whilst we're reading, uh, whilst we're exploring then all the better. Uh, looking for a, a cosy claim to call your own but too low on funds to afford one? How would you like a free in room? That's right, completely free, no catch. Oh. Okay, so perhaps if I can't, uh, if I'm not high enough level yet to do any professions. Can't think why. Then at least that means I should hopefully be able to put some stuff away. So we've actually got a free room at the inn. Okay, let's unlock a way shrine. Unlock. Unlock. Sweet as a nut. That's the sounds. That's the sounds. The sounds of Morrowind. Mages Guild? Okay, so it's not that way. Right, I can see a bank. Guild trader, alchemist, guild trader, blah, blah, 
No, I'm not in a guild yet. Enchanter, merchant, alchemist. It's all looking pretty good. Okay, banker. Now I should have Piece of loads of money in here. Not loads, but some. Um, yeah, look, this is all what was in my bank from previous character. Minus. Ooh. So that's a deconstruct one. They're both deconstructs, so I'll uh, worry about those when I come to. What? Well, I might as well take this shit with me. Oh, okay, don't have to worry about lockpicks anymore. Wicked. It's got a merchant. Can I do anything? Blacksmith. Can I not use any of this stuff yet? Blacksmith station. Oh, yay! We can deconstruct some stuff. Okay, so let's. Uh, wasn't really planning on doing blacksmithing, but uh, and then deconstruct. Okay. Uh, I don't think these are ones that can be researched. working the skill is going up from doing this which is why I do it any shields iron girdle increases the aspiration deconstruction nice those ones I do last for obvious reasons Loads of rubbish to. It's not bad, not bad. We're gonna find the others. Clothing station. This is the one I want to actually level. Yeah, sure. Get rid of all this stuff. Boom. <laughs> Straight to level 2. Nice. Should have really done those greens on the blacksmith and one. Bear with me. Deconstruct. See, I don't know if they... I mean, that one's clearly... Get rid of it. Yeah, nice. Uh, I'm just going to do it. Get some stuff out of it, which is nice. And all of this stuff, because I am an ESO Plus member, all of my materials go into a separate uh, inventory crafting bag thing so I haven't got to worry about that right so woodwork 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 there's a carpenter so this must be the woodwork station yeah yes I know right so same again what's that one worth money um so I don't want, I don't want to deconstruct the ones that are worth money. Not yet. Oh no. That was worth 
worth money. Never mind. There's only one. Okay, so there's that, 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 that. Uh, and that's the only ones with deconstruct, isn't it? Leather. Or does that come under tailoring? I think that comes under clothes, doesn't it? Armour. Armour weapons, wood. Tailor. I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, so as we can now deconstruct the stuff, let's get the rest something. of that rubbish out of my bank. Yes, I know. You're going to tell me every time I go to the bank? I mean, really? Did I already take it out of the bank? Mark is junk. I'm going to be selling it, so just mark it as junk. So there's nothing I could do with these. Mark is junk. Mark is junk. So not worth anything. Oh, well, is there a is there a jewelry one? Oh, just leave them in there for now. I think. I think that's probably best. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I'm not worried about taking the money with me. Um, you know, I want to sort of do this on my own steam as much as possible. Uh, but in a nutshell, we are uh, living the dream. 18 out of 60, and I haven't even begun. I haven't even begun to start purchasing stuff like so I've got automatic junk sales so as soon as I speak to a merchant they said I could make a fort boom junk sold do a repair because why not okay clearly the quest for the professions. I'll probably have to go to uh, Dominion territory to continue that on, but let's let's get on with what we're supposed to be doing. Waste works. Okay, clearly wrong. Not this way. Above. I need to go up. This entire plaza go to the same ice works. Let's say it, let's. And it goes down. Oh, I see. Yeah. Not even in the building. Can I get over there? Unlock this other way shrine. Yes! That'll save a bit of hassle. Okay, so we need to speak to Lord Vivek. Vivek. If you insist. Let's sprint. Please, Vivek. What you are? You get me for. Here's Cannon. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness, and this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. Yeah, do one. 
Step forward, friend of Labu. Come see what it was. Speak. There's Vivek. Hey, I like playing as you in Street Fighter. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. This might be Arch Cannon's concerns. I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? Mm, what do you need? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Uh, of course. I'll have a word. Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. Uh, I don't think he wants my help. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my arch cannon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say, and I say we need your assistance. Find the arch cannon in his office, and he'll tell you how to proceed. Okay, when I first arrived, I saw a vision of Azura. The Daedric Prince? I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura, though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain, Strange Daedra, and then there's... well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Fair enough, I'm going now, boy! Sorry about that double interruption. Let's uh, crack on. So we need to speak to Arch Cannon Tarvis, who uh, he could have waited. Could have waited for me. Jeez, jeez. It looks like he's not too far. He's in the central area. Is it up or down above? Who the shit is talking to who? So wasn't anyone talking to me, was it? Arch Cannon's office. Bookshelves. So I will turn the page just so you can pause and read for those of you that are into lore and stuff and some stuff and some stuff. I'm really just in it for the potential skill points. Okay, this isn't classed as stealing. Which means I'm gonna ransack the shit out of this. I'll be right with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rack. Herbal tea. Ebon Heart. So this will be a faction that I'm not in, but we will be against at some point. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. Uh, is there anything up in his private quarters? Like I said, I'm not going to be leaving you much, mate, to be honest. I know I was going healer, but... I still need funding. Locked with no way of opening, it doesn't even give me an option. Never mind. Okay, let's uh, ah, crack on. Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you, but who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work. 
Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? Uh, Lord Vivek said he needed to perform a divination ritual. Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. Um, did you see I'm a high elf? I am quite literally all ears. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the blessing stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. Okay, so our quest is go fetch. I'll go to the unfinished ziggurat, get the blessing zone and meet you at Vivek's gaff. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch canon of a living god or anything. Have I offended you in some manner? Offend me? You give yourself too much credit. No, I feel the same about all Outlanders. <laughs> this is tribunal business, best handled by tribunal resources. However, I also obey my Lord Vivek, so I will tolerate your involvement and do my best to aid you. Oh, right, so you're a dick. Right, okay, no worries. So the unfinished ziggurat. Bit close, wouldn't you, love? Okay, so it looks like we're not quite leaving Vivek City just yet. So there's something to do with housing here, because I know that's the icon for the housing. I can't go. Oh, I can't. It won't let me in any of these. None, none of them at all. Thanks. Let's go up here. Oh no, it's not in here. Why is that that colour then on the mini map? Saint. No noise works. I'm assuming it's referring to the inn. It just has to be. Trouble is, I'm not overly. I don't know what all of the symbols mean, unfortunately, but this looks like yeah, it's the inn. Hello. You have a look about you, some sort of quality that's rare to. And trust me, I'm never wrong about these sort of things. Can I interest you in a room at the local inn? Actually, wait, that came out wrong. <laughs> a room at the local inn? Look, empty rooms are just bad for business. The upkeep alone costs me more than the place is worth. But I think we can come to a sort of arrangement. And not the sort of arrangement that involves a few drinks. Let me be clear about that. Shame. Uh, what sort of arrangement? I need someone to improve the reputation of my properties. A hero type who people look up to. And I have a feeling about you. You've done something great and are probably on the way to do something greater. Seems like we can help each other here. Yeah, I'm, what, level four? How much have I actually done? But yeah, I'm interested. Yeah, all right. Details. I can see how this might be a bit sketchy, but don't worry. The inn room is well kept, conveniently located. I know you adventuring types wanting a home in every town. This would be a nice addition to your holdings. Mm, there's got to be a catch. No catch. I just need someone to freshen up my image. And my gut tells me you're the one to do that. As long as you're not planning on turning it into a skooma den or an outlaw's refuge, the room is all yours. So, within legal reason, I can do whatever I want? Oh, 
Oh, sure. You can set up some crafting stations, house your pets, display any treasures or trophies you've come upon in your adventures. Hey, you can even set up a target dummy to practice combat. Just don't demolish the place and we're good. Okay. We have an accord. Excellent. You won't regret this decision, I swear. Here's the deed and key to the room. Took me a while, but I finally was able to take them back from the last tenant. Required more time in the sewers than I had hoped for, but hey, that's business. Okay. Hope the room is to your liking. With your reputation, I'm sure you shouldn't have any trouble with the neighbors. If you do, remember death threats are not the way to go. <laughs> had a spot of trouble when my last tenant started sending those out. Okay, anything else? Nope, just make yourself at home. Spruce things up a bit. Honestly, I can't wait to see how you arrange the place. Hopefully you'll end up with a few less Daedric shrines than another former tenant of mine. Like zero. Zero is a good number. Of course. Don't even worship the Daedric. Oh, really. I can't tell you how hard it is to wash blood stains off of cobble floors. But that's not even the worst of it. I've had tenants cram their rooms with the wildest things. Mounts, foliage, assistants. I mean, it's an in-room. Alright, do you own the place? I own this and several other properties throughout Tamriel. It pays to diversify. Of course, that means I've got to look out for a variety of troubles, too. But, hey, no one ever said the real estate business was easy. Fair enough, catch you later. Okay, so is this... This is our room here, so... Thought it'd be a good idea to remember this. Start customizing your home with the housing editor F5. Alright, there we go. Open your collections with U. Navigate to the housing tab and select. So all I've got Okay. Is that it? Everything else I'll keep with me. Okay, how do I pick it back up? Ah. And put away. Right. That's fine. I mean, I'll wait until I've got a proper decent place, but it'll do. It's somewhere to store my stuff, isn't it? Uh, go to entrance. Oh, F5 for exit. Oh well, it's worth a look. Clearly our uh, professions will make stuff uh, to go in there. So I want to, I want to leave really. I want to leave, want to quest. Oh, 
Oh, the furnishing stall's right opposite. Close enough. One of these must let me out. Is that the one? Yes. Okay, so the ziggurat is in the other direction. Where am I going? Talk to Kurinir. Uh Is it T? No. Okay, it's T to swap it over, but I want to go to my journal. Oh, that's the Mages Guild. Right, yeah, I'm not worried about that just yet. So. If I've got to do another running jump. Go on. Go over, you whiny bitch. But sadly, that is all the time I've got for this one. But thanks an awful lot for watching. I do really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And join me in the next one where we're going to carry on with this quest. Nice.